Hi, I'm Dan Doty. This is Snail Games USA. So let's talk a little about Snail Games. You guys originated in China as an MMO game company. That's correct. We started in the year 2000, and for the last 14 years, we've been one of the leading publishers of video games in the world. You guys gradually have come over to the U.S. You brought a couple of your games. What's new here at CES? Here at CES, we, we tend to change the entire gaming paradigm. What we're doing is we're bringing Android games, not just to a new mobile device, but to a new console device in a bigger, better way than it's ever been done before. So you guys have two separate things you're showing here. Let's start with the one we see behind your uh, shoulder here. It's a 3D display of a video game. Yes, that is our O-Box. It's a modular Android box that is built with the intention of allowing users to take a, an advanced Android game and bring it up to their, their large screen TV. Now, you need to have a format that allows that, that allows the developers to be able to create games that are good enough to play in that area, which most Android devices don't. Which leads us to the second device, which is our Android phone, which runs at 2.2 to 2.0 gigahertz and is fully um, HDI compliant. So it's 1080i, runs at uh, 2.2 gigahertz on the high end, and it can play exactly the same games that you see on the big screen TV behind me. Now, one of the games they're showing right now is actually in stereoscopic 3D. Can you talk a little about that, a gameplay aspect? Yes, it's actually a passive 3D. We develop the game in, in 2D, and then we run it through our engine protocols, and it creates the passive 3D effect. The developers don't have to be concerned about the development of the 3D side of the game. That's what we do. When it comes to the, the newer 4K TVs, a lot of them support 3D as well, so will this plug into that as well? Yes, this is 4K 3D compatible product, absolutely. Talk a little about the handheld device and what separates it from other mobile phones out there that people play games on. Um, absolutely. R really, you have to go back to what's caused the change in the, in the gaming environment. In 2007, Apple launched a new product, the new smartphone. It changed the entire way games are played in the casual mobile em environment. Since then, the number one gaming devices have become cell phones instead of the Game Boy from Nintendo. So now you're changing the way games are played. The hardware is driving your ability to develop and play games and it's very limiting for a player now you can tap and swipe so you can chop fruit or you can shoot birds at pigs but you can't play a really good FIFA soccer game you can't play Madden on it the way you like to play Madden you can take those games and you can put them on this device and you can play them for real with controller feel feedback the whole nine yards there's no reason why you have to change the game except for there's no device to play it on now there's a device that you can play it on can you talk a little about the eye tracking capabilities of this device? Absolutely. The eye tracking is set up for the user in its, its proximity to capture the eye and, and create the 3D effect. So that's really what's creating that, that stereoscopic view on, on the phone. For the 3D effect for the TV, it's, it's just a passive 3D. You do need to have the glasses to support by the TVs, but it's the same kind of concept. It, and it's on the backs of the hardware. It's not on the backs of the software and the developer to create the 3D. That's very, very important because 3D programming in the past was very difficult and cumbersome for the developers, so nobody did it. Now, take your game, give it to us, we'll help you get to where you need to be. What kind of support would you guys have of Snail Games titles for these devices? Um, our, our entire catalog will play because they're all going to be coming out Android compatible from Age of Wushu, Tai Chi Panda, and a slew of other games that we'll be announcing from now until E3. So all of our products will be there. There's also going to be a major announcement from one of the largest mobile developers in the world and publishers here at the show um, telling you exactly what their intentions are for our devices. Um, the, the understanding is we expect most of their catalog from one of the largest publishers in the world to be migrated to our devices as quickly as possible.